And still in shock and disbelief after her sister was shot and killed in a murder suicide. That happened October 12th off Emerald Green Court and Winfield Lakes subdivision. Melody Griffith says she didn't know her sister, Brenda Brannon, was being abused. She wanted to share her sister's story tonight in hopes of helping other women and men in similar situations. Channel 4's Heather Lee spoke with Griffith. Heather? Well, Kent Griffith says that she is just trying to stay strong for her family. She was able to name off facts and figures about domestic violence, but she says she wouldn't have been able to do that if her sister hadn't been taken in such a violent way. The numbers say it all. 20 people a minute are being abused in the United States. That's 10 million a year. That's an epidemic. It took her sister's life, Brenda Brannon. I still can't wrap my head around it which may be why I can't grieve. Police say Brandon's husband, Barry, shot her and then shot himself. Melody Griffith says her sister seemed normal, never showed signs of abuse, and never told her what her relationship with Barry was really like until it was too late. Is that normal? Unfortunately, most of the people who are killed by domestic violence in Northeast Florida, um, they've never called the police, they've never called Hubbard House, they've never told their family or close friends. Ellen Seiler, the chief executive officer at Hubbard House, says the two main reasons why? Fear and embarrassment. She says people also underestimate the danger they're in. It's hard to believe that someone who's supposed to love you would kill you. Um, so they might not speak up just because they don't think it's going to go that far. But too often it does. If women and men will reach out to their families, they're there for them. And if she had just reached out to me, she'd be alive today. Now, Siler says a call to Hubbard House can be anonymous and they are bound by confidentiality. She says they oftentimes can help set the caller up with a safety plan, especially if they aren't ready to leave the person they are with. One tip, if you experience an explosive incident, go to an area with an exit, avoid a kitchen or a bathroom or anywhere else with a sharp object or hard surface. You can also alert a neighbor to those situations and have a signal to alert them to call police when needed. Now, this is the website we've posted all of this information on our website. That's news4jax.com. For now, we're live. Heather Lee, Channel 4, The Local Station.